part of what I know I need to do in the near future is to take advantage of some opportunities that I've created in the past. Um, like I baked a cake and just sort of let it rise until I was ready for it and it's time for me to start getting ready. And that is why I went on the dragon step. I intentionally went there not to gain any expectations of them helping me out at all. Why did I, I go in there and do it is because there's no way that I was ready to point out their insanity. It's, it's almost like the only way I can put the, get them to see themselves and how they behave is if they put it on TV, put it out, you know, see what they do after it's put on TV so they can see themselves doing what they do and then at the end of the day say, now how is that working for you? Because if I just sat there and said, well, you're wrong, um, first of all, they're in total control of the whole situation. Their motive, their intention was to find a seasonal nut bar and um, they picked me. And I was willing to go there. I knew that there's no way they were going to invest $2 million in a good idea because the idea I was presenting would have not made them money and they're greedy. They only speak the language of greed and while doing it the economy wasn't as crashing as much as it is now. It's like we needed to see more corporate uh, too big to fail scenarios for you to kind of see, see? <laughs> How's it working for you? Kind of see that greed is causing an awful lot of hardship on the planet. The more greedy a few are, the more poverty we're starting to see in the world. We're not really connecting the dots. So for them to, uh, they, they would be the panel of the wealthy and I would be on the other side of the poor. And so it's how did the two interact? And if I'm saying that those with wealth are the cause of problems, do you think somebody, you know, that is the victim of what they're causing, the social problems that all of these dragons are willfully encouraging, developing, and supporting, and they profit off of it, and everybody else is profiting off of their great ideas. So my idea would stop that. <laughs> do you think they're really going to see the value in something that they're going to edit the minute I open my mouth. So the only way to have the conversation about who's the net bar and who isn't is when I am freely able to communicate what my side of it. Um, so you have to look at what the bigger picture is. And the bigger picture is, is this show makes an awful lot of money calling people nut bars. Um, and I want to focus a hundred percent on this Arlene. Um, she's one prime example of um, what I'm talking about. She's uh, Arlene Dickinson. Okay, she's marketed on the Dragon's Den as um, the single mother card that she came from poverty and um, pulled herself out. Yet, when I was on the show presenting my idea, I was a single mother, which they knew had gone through so much abuse. I'm now on a disability. And somebody that has experienced that level of abuse who's coming to present the starting of an idea, like I don't have it, all of the plans worked out or the presentation. They wanted me to come up and just present it to, at the stage that it's at, the development stage. So it needed some explanation, but two seconds. You know, I've gone through friggin' hell. I've, you know, just been lived through pure friggin' torture. 
and you want me to explain an idea in 30 seconds before you start the animal attack, the personal emotional attack, where Arlene has been saying in articles that emotion is everything. You have to be emotionally attached. And it's like her emotional attached is, is, is by calling people names. You are who you hang with. For three seasons, you called me a nut bar, which means that anybody that is, is you know, trying at the bottom that needs to get pulled up, you need to call them names. If you call them names, you know, that will make them what? Passionate? About what? I will then spend my time proving that I'm not a nut bar over just living <laughs> The experience of what it is I'm talking about. I don't need to prove that I'm not an app bar. I live by the experience of, okay, let's look at my progress and let's look at what you're progressing. What, what is it that she is doing? Well, she has an interview um, and, and says that, you know, family is important and she speaks with her grandson and what do they do? What does Arlene, the loving person that she is, that she builds people up so that they can build a successful business, you know, get that encouragement, get that um, critical, where is the problem? You know, why won't something work? Why just label something a nut bar? Why, why say something doesn't work without saying why it doesn't work? You know, and why demean somebody that much when you've got nothing critical, no critical thinking involved there. Not one of these judges had any critical thinking going on. Because at the end of the day, I mean, what is, I'll get back to what she talks about with her son is she gets her, her, her grandson to look in her purse and find all the change. And then they talk about all the things they ended up buying with the change. And, and uh, then they, after they talk about all the experiences they had with money, they put it in a jar so that they could learn saving for a rainy day or saving for another day makes it amount to something. And then we can enjoy spending it again. <laughs> Their whole life is about money. <laughs> they surround everything. You know, money, family is important. It's important that family has money. And <laughs> she loves clothes. You know, she's not really realizing that while she has all the clothes, nobody else has any. While she has all the money, nobody else has any money. The only way she's good at something is by her putting somebody down. She needs to tear people apart so that she is up on top of her mountain saying that she's the best at something. But what is she the best at? Okay. She's got a lot of money in her bank account. How did she get there? Chances are she had a little bit of confidence and certainty about something. But what my product is, is that I think everybody should feel confident and certain. If you wake up during the day, you should feel confident and certain about something. Pretty sure she did. And I'm saying that, hey, if I'm going to drink water all the time and life gets in the way, I want something to interrupt my thoughts. Branding. She brands products for a living. Branding causes emotion. Emotion causes a reaction. So if I use my water bottle to brand the concept of, hey, Judy, feel confident and certain about something, pretty sure it'd be a good idea since she's used it, but she calls that a nut bar idea. Now, I also thought that, you know what? When I wake up during the day, I want to see that I have the right connections to make a plan come together. It's easier to see the good in other people and what they can do for me versus all of the th all of the bad people. There is, you know, nothing but bad people and conspiracies and all, of the, you know, Arlene's in the world doing all of this shit. You know, if I focus on everybody that's doing everything bad, you know what? All I'm doing is talking about everybody that's doing everything bad. When I could be saying, hey, look it. Let's just sit back and say there are, you know, a lot of really, really good people in the world. Some people just don't know what good is. And some people just need to be woken up to what a good idea is. But just because they haven't woken up to a good idea doesn't mean that they're not um, good people. Like I can see Arlene, if she really, truly is the genius girl that she says she is, she'll see the genius of this idea. So for me to put her down means that I take the potential of her being able to help me out. So 
If I focus on all that negative, oh, here's this woman calling me a nut bar, chances are I'm going to put her defenses up and all the potential of her being, you know, somebody helpful at uh, that alignment to, to make something work for me is poof, gone. So I would think if I use my drinking water every day to brand the concept in my thought of saying, see the good in everybody, see the good in Arlene, for her to see a good idea. And that all I have to see the goodness of her and feel that goodness inside me. If I brand that concept that there is something good about her, even though she's calling me a nut bar, um, chances are I'll change my reality. You know, but she thinks that having that concept branded, marketed in my daily life every freaking day to look in the good and try and take advantage of what the good people can offer is a bad idea. Now, I also think that, you know, after you live through hell, you know, life is a fucking bitch. No money. I love, love, love the clothes the same as Arlene does. But you know what? I wake up every day, no freaking clothes. You know, want to go and apply for a job and it's like I can't even afford the glasses to be able to see correctly to even fill out an application correctly. Plus, I'm old, you know, and people go around calling me a nut bar. Um kind of hard to find the happy and the love in life you know especially when you're on a welfare system and you know people tend to think you're lazy and stupid it's really really hard to get up every day and say oh there's another day <laughs> you know so but i think that if i had something every day oh like the water i need to drink to survive every day with you know brand the concept in my mind that no judy focus on being happy and loving and the more happy and loving you are then the more you can turn this shit around but arlene thinks that's a bad idea so you know while money is like sucking i'm not able to attract that finances because it's from you know the people that have it are people like arlene um i in a state of welfare and everybody's telling me how negative and nut bar I am. It's like that magnet to turn on. Hey, I am deserving of some prosperity in this world. You know, I think I'm bombarded by the branding of the um, Dragon's Den show constantly telling me day in and day out, you're a friggin' nut bar. So I think, you know, that could really made me have a miserable day so I think you know I am deserving and I just feel like I'm deserving so I put this water concept together and I use it every day to brand the concept in me that I am deserving whether Arlene thinks I, I am or not and I know one day I will attract that prosperity in my life but Arlene thinks that's a bad idea I should think I deserve poverty um I also think that okay maybe I sucked at trying to let Arlene kind of see what she's doing that everything I'm saying that hey I'm using this to pull myself out of this hole you did I'm pretty sure Arlene was confident pretty sure she used the the good alignments that made her good pretty sure she had confidence pretty sure she needed to develop a sense of prosperity and abundance in her life pretty sure she had to accept and allow some bullshit in her life you know, like every single one of these intentions that I'm using, branding, she brands for a living. She knows the effect it has on the brain. So if you attach a branding something, the same psychology that's in my house every day and day out, and it makes you responsible by any complaint or any excuse you make, you got to take personal responsibility to transform that into something that actually benefits your life. Arlene thinks it's a bad idea. And then if profits went to actually fund other great ideas like mine, you know, we're kind of needing some funding in some really effective nonprofits, none that sustain problems, but actually uplift and not make everybody else feel like a nut bar. If all profits from everybody drinking water that makes the suggestion of, hey, all you have to do is Feel the proper intentions from within you. Remind yourself that, hey, you can do it. 
you know, like if we actually did it and everybody needed something like that, you know, how much profit could you make off that? Sorry, I'm not Arlene. I wouldn't count those monies, but I would count them of, hey, I could do an awful lot of good with that money. I don't need to buy more clothes than what I actually need. And I'm pretty sure there's somebody else with a good idea that I don't need to invest in, but actually give them the company and say, here, build up my community so I can enjoy some locally owned made clothes that will get everybody back to work. Peace out.